Hi everybody, welcome, welcome, welcome to the dungeon. My name is Robin and today is Lamp Working 101.91. I just got done making this amazing little soft glass chain. It's super fun and easy to do. The more links that I started to add, the more excited I got and the links kept getting better and better. The stringer size that you're gonna to wanna to use is really important. And it's going to be a two to three millimeter size stringer. And this is a store-bought stringer. I just pulled out my stringers to match this size. Let's go ahead and get right into this. I hope you're all doing safe and well out there. And as always, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time in the dungeon. All right, we're gonna start out by making the stringer. And I want a nice, thick two to three millimeter stringer. And like I said in the beginning, you can use a pre-made stringer if you'd like. I just like to pull out my own. It's good practice and I just like uh, that I, I can use any colors that I want. So I get a really big wad of glass hot, really big wad. Let it just kind of settle in for a second and then grab and pull nice and slow. The slower you pull, the nicer it's going to pull out. It won't pull out too thin. And uh, and then at the end, what I was doing was using a pre-made stringer just to match up the size and make sure I was real close to that size because it just works so perfectly with these chains. Okay, now I'm ready to go ahead and get started. Uh, the first thing I'm gonna do is get a very tiny, tiny flame going on my torch. The smaller, the better. And I'm just gonna take off the very tip of my, my uh, stringer. And to make the first ring, what I wanna do is heat up, I, I heat it up about the first half inch maybe of the glass and brought it over to the top of my torch and just kind of bent it over making uh, a U or a, a little U bend. And you want to make sure it's not too tight right there. You want a nice open U for the next chain to sit in. Okay, so once you have like a, a hook made, I'm gonna grab it with my warm tweezers. And in order to connect it together, I noticed that if I heated the top and let it melt a little bit, and then I heat the bottom and start to melt it and bring it up towards that top bit, it, I was able to connect it fairly easily. And that's kind of what I started to run with. There's my first loop, I was all excited. It's not perfect, but I mean, you gotta start somewhere, right? <laughs> and these loops can be all different little shapes. Uh, just keep it really simple. Just keep trying to make them circular. I, but different sizes would be a lot of fun. I just wanted to do a lot of practice and kind of see where I would get from there. So my second loop, I have more of a more of a, a little nicer shape hook already going, and I'm gonna just repeat everything every time except for right here. I tried to heat up the bottom and bring it up to the top, and it didn't work as well. Uh, but you, you know you have to experiment when you start trying new things. Anyway, there's my first two loops put together and now after two hours <laughs> I learned a lot um, I just kept continuing that process until I got this far and now I wanted to show you how much better I've gotten so this is kind of uh, what I started to do is get uh, about an inch of glass hot and this black worked great uh, an inch was better than a half an inch a longer uh, link worked out better here because then I was able to heat up the very end without shortening it too much but then still bring that bottom um, up to it to connect them together and then I use a little graphite pencil to kind of get into that area and just even it out. I didn't spend too much time on these I just wanted to go through the process until I kind of got my my brain thinking about it. And this is the next one. I'm gonna do the same way. Let it just kind of fall down into that 90 degree angle and then gently make the loop. Using my torch head was great for making this chain. 
And notice where I grab it with the tweezers here. This is really important. I grab it in front of the loose chain where my tweezers are. And that really, really was key here, okay? Don't forget that. <laughs> okay, so now that I have some chain here to, to play with and to, to wear, I want to connect everything together and um, finish the uh, the circle. <laughs> so I'm going to use this, uh, what is this, transparent red. I thought I was using transparent orange the whole time, but I got my reds and oranges mixed up in the same batch. Okay, so I'm just going to put both chains on this last link and connect it the same way I did before. So this is really all about repetition and learning over and over again the motion, the heat, everything that it takes to make a very simple link without too much heat. And once you're finished, you don't wanna go back and reheat anything. You just wanna keep going forward, okay? And then your chain links won't break. And therefore, you don't have to anneal this either. This is just, once I finished with this, I waited like maybe a minute and uh, I, I put it on and I haven't taken it off since. <laughs> I'm obsessed with it. And you know, it's just a wonderful thing to be able to make a ready to wear a uh, necklace like this out of the soft glass. It's amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoy and, uh, and like this one. Uh, it was a lot of fun to make. And there is our final awesome little chain. All right, you guys, thanks so much for joining me. I'll see you next time in the dungeon.